Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also, welcome to another gift card giving. Today is the day that my team and I um, create a couple of different um, gift card holder ideas for you. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. The actual gift card we are showcasing today. So, basically, my team and I are actually we're both using this one this is called the frap gift card holder so since we are actually showcasing it that means this will be available at a small discount um and when you go ahead and purchase it in the store the discount is already applied you don't there's no code needed okay and this will actually um be at offered at that small discount until sunday Let's see, Sunday, March 12th, okay? So that's what we are showcasing today, which is one of my favorite, favorite dies. So I'll have a link to it on my blog here, okay? So anyway, so that's that. And then I am also using the Ginger Easter 2. Um, this is the little ears for, you know, I forgot to grab something, hold on. In addition to Ginger Easter 2, I'm also using the Sweet gingerbread person die so this is the bigger one that goes with that um okay so i use that one as well that one and then i use my fun bubble dies i did not see i did not double check before i even after i was done i thought about god what if i don't have these in stock i'm not 100 percent sure just yet um but i'll have i'll still have a link to it um on my blog so you can see so that's called the fun bubble dies and i use the smallest one right here and then I used, I also used the Ginger Easter Bunny, and the sentiment I used was the Your Some Bunny, Your Some Bunny Special, along with the coordinating die that goes with it. And then I used my brand new fabulous paper pads um, from this one called Dots, Flowers, and Solids. So this is basically a sister to this paper pad, okay? So it says right there, um, I can probably see it better in the back, Dots, Flowers, and Solids goes with Spring Gingers, which is this one here. Um, <clears throat> I like to do two because I'm big on solids. I like the solid paper because a lot of times I had, a, like when I first came out, I had a hard time matching cards up, up with this. And I like my paper pack because it's on a little bit on the thicker side. So you could use it as cardstock and I love it. So the, let's see, what did I use for this one? Oh, so I used the actual solid green in this book here. And on this paper pad, this is called the Spring Gingers. I use, let's see, I use this page, my favorite page right there, along with, I think it's behind here, the green script, okay? I went with the green theme today, because I think I used all the colors in that paper pad except for the green. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and I cut this out, I cut the base out twice, okay? So I cut it once out in the script and then I backed it with a craft color. Now, I did it like this only because I want to, instead of putting the gift card in the front, I want to put it in the back. So here goes that little part where the gift card actually will go on there. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down on the back here because that's where I'm going to put the gift card instead. So what you want to do is just put a little adhesive only at the top and then here just like on the sides like all the way on the side so this way you won't so you want to make sure you leave room for the gift card to go in there and then at the bottom don't put any in the center otherwise your gift card won't go down <laughs> trust me i've done that before <laughs> by accident so let's go ahead and just get this down like so Okie dokie. So now we're going to go ahead and decorate the front. Here goes that cutie patootie little wood grain. And then this long strip, let's put this one on first. This is going to go like so across there. I'm just going to use my, and I love using my little, um, what do you call this? This glossy accents. That's what I use. I used to use the matte all the time, but I have a whole bunch of that. So I want to use what I have before I buy the matte one again. Okay, so, let's see, let's go ahead and just, and then this one I just have some paper, so I'm just going to take off the release paper. I just put that little adhesive from the scrapbook.com, which I absolutely love. Okie dokie. 
let's go ahead and just kind of get this on here. Excuse my unmanicured nails. I can't really sit comfortably to actually do my nails right now. So I just cut them all really short and they look terrible, but that's okay. <laughs> so anyway, so here goes this right here. This is the little whipped cream that's gonna go like so. I cut them so short, it's hard for me to get this stuff off. Okie dokie. And then what I did was for this, I cut this part out in some clear acetate and I went ahead and I stuck the straw in there. So, oh shoot, you know what? I did this wrong, hold on. I wanted to put the straw behind this. So let's hurry up and get this up before it completely sticks. Okay, so whew, that was a close one. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I put this on, well, how am I going to do this? Let's see. I had a, a master plan. <laughs> so I may actually, you know what, I think we could get, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I put some little adhesive behind the straw here. I put it in both. I should have taken this one off first. So let's take this one off. I put it one here so it could adhere to this little top part and the bottom. So let's go ahead and take this one off. Okay, so now I want to put this, basically what I want to do is I want to put this behind here, just like so, just like that. So hopefully this, this plan will work better. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and put this, oh, that actually did work. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's like that. So now with this part here, what I'm gonna do is instead of putting adhesive, I figured I'd put glue dots, okay? So I just have these little glue dots here. I haven't used glue dots in like forever. So I figure why not? Let's go ahead and give this a try. So we're gonna go ahead and put one here on the corner. Just like so. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I just didn't want to put a whole bunch of glue, you know? Okay, and then this will go. On that corner. Just like that. And I probably could put one in the center, but you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. I think it looks super cute. Okay, so now let's go ahead. I went ahead and I put some little pop dots up on our adorable little Benny. So this is going to go just like so. This is the big the big Benny. I could have put the smaller one on here, but that's okay. I like the big one cuz that's that's the little focal point of this whole project here. And then there goes a little So what I did was I went ahead and I just um stamped it on some cardstock and then cut it out using the coordinating die and layered it on the vellum because this way it won't cover up so much of my background does that make sense so that's gonna go like so you're somebody special isn't that super adorable absolutely love that so let's go ahead and just grab a gift card here so we're gonna go ahead and this is where the gift card is gonna go like so just like that in the back and then that, and that's it, everyone. That is my project here for today. Head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my design team has done using the little Frappuccino, the little, what's it called? The Frapp gift card holder. I think, I think this came out super cute. So that is it, everybody. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.